8 a.m. today. The, the next Mastering Engineering assignment's active, and you've got another four written problems due next Wednesday, the, the 23rd. Now, incidentally, after all the, the sections meet, the solutions to the written portion will be posted on Blackboard, so you can, can look for those if there were some aspects that were confusing. And certainly, if, if that doesn't clear things up for you, as always, would encourage you to, to get help from somebody, myself, one of the other instructors, whatever the case may be. Because circuit analysis, the important thing is to keep up with uh, the material. It will start. It, it will probably haunt you until you take the time to, to get that information um, firm, firm in hand. Uh,
Thank you. 
ask for your help again today. refers to So our result there is 0.167 amps. Okay, everybody. one over our equivalent we want that in the denominator so you're not taking that inverse unless you're bringing it up on on top so the the calculation is essentially performed exactly as shown here so in the denominator we're taking the sum of the reciprocals of those parallel paths and so that may speak to your or part to this problem.
on using these techniques creatively. So based on what was described, here's essentially what we need. So I'm going to come back to this circuit and let's define some voltage VA. So we could certainly apply voltage division to find that voltage VA. Yep, sure can. I mean, there's uh, another case in point, many ways to approach this. The reason I'm taking this approach is just trying to reinforce the divider. But yeah, that what you described, absolutely the case. So VA is equal to 60 volts times this equivalent resistance, which we determined to be 10, divided by the combination of those series resistors, which as before is 120. So we have 5 volts there. All right, this 5 volts then, Thank you. 